Shame, shame, walk of shame. I'm two days late, walk of shame. You know, I've never been down this. Doesn't seem. Oh! I think that was a pointless waste of levels. But, you know, maybe I won't be late next time. Self chastisement aside, let's get on to the main point of this video to work on the central room of our water temple. Hey, hey, dude, your pants are down. Dude, your pants are sagging in the back. So you just hike them up or something, you know. No. Oh. All right, here we are in the fabulous central room of the water temple. As you can see, though, it's not looking too fabulous. Not to worry, though. I have special plans for this place. Mm. Oh, yes. So, first, first. First thing I do with this place. Where, I ask the question, where is walking going to happen? Traversing, that sort of thing. Well, that's kind of complicated, but if you just, you know, hold on a second. There. There. See? I told you. Just got away to Zal. So these are the paths that can be taken throughout here. I have four levels. There's the bottom there. Uh, third, second, first, in reverse order, which, whatever, I uh, well, that could be more confusing. Uh, basically, this level is the same as the first level, and I'll talk about the, the next one down there. But, it's too thick, and I want four out here, and basically, since it's a circle, if you just do this, you know, just do this. That's all you end up having to do. How did I come up with this design? Well, it's a secret. Actually, it shouldn't be a secret. I use plots all the time. PLOTZ dot whatever that is. But anyways, I would fill this in double thick. And it's exactly the same down there. And we can either take the brown squiggle, or we can just jump. Hold on. Oh yeah, also, I'm at y equals 41 right now. If we jump down here, we're at 32. Meaning that there was a 9 block difference in height from the first floor and the second floor. I think that gives enough room for the spacious feel to stick around. And not feel too spacious, if you know what I mean. Like, a room that does that feels too small for what's in it versus a room that feels too big for what's in it. It's uh, something I can't quite talk about because I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, jumping back down here, we're at level 23 from 32. So that's another nine, you know, consistent pattern. Uh, for this level, these usually would go all the way down like this. I was just lazy. Uh, but if they did, they'd end where the path ends here. Like, this would build up into the wall and meet up. Uh, I put just a little square, basically a 2 by 2 square, touching every wall where there would be a wall. And I think that made a pretty good circle. And then finally down here, 18. Good old 18. So every so often, I put down these pillars, and there's basically four, one in each of these corner pieces. So like, um, let's see right here, I would find the most cornerest of the corners. Uh, that would be this, actually. <laughs> so just go straight up all the way to the ceiling. Um, not going to take that all the way up to the ceiling yet. But basically the same thing with these. These will be kind of like the uh, the doorway looking walkway things. Doorway looking walkway things. And when it gets up here, uh, you know, hopefully this gives a better view, a better 
done image, finished image of the paths. Wait, what's, what's that in the middle? Funny you should ask. Oh, I also took the time to put a little, uh, little doorway. A little, you know, if I can, if I can actually see anything from here, which apparently I cannot. I picked a, oh yeah, terrific, terrific viewpoints. <laughs> Some kind of central tower? Well, yeah, you're right. There's going to be a bit of a central tower here. Uh, nothing too fancy. Just uh, something like this. So it'll probably go all the way down. And yeah, I think it's for the most part self-explanatory. Like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's a ledge right there, the sixth block. That's going to be kind of the entrance. So most of this is not going to be much of an entrance. It's all going to be filled in pretty much. Climb up this. And this will be more of the visible tower. Visible. And it's going to be kind of like the the end of this room. If that makes any sense. The, the, ob the objective will be to get in here. And it'll be kind of complicated how to get here. If we make it all the way to the top of this... We have another ledge that's going to be here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is this is another fifth block up. From here, this is going to have kind of a semi-dome shape. So I'm going to fill in all these. Then I'm going to throw a block in each of these corners. Put two blocks in the middle and one in the corner. Go around. Next, I'll just fill in the rest of these. And each one of them is going to have blocks on it. I think pretty much that's how it's going to be. Maybe I'll throw one of these in each of these corners. And when it's all said and done, looks kind of like that. Also, might as well jump down here. I decided to change out all of the blocks in here with andesite uh, up to this specific level just this level because that is going to be the high water mark and yes there's going to be water in here and yes this is based off of and by based off of I mean blatantly ripping off uh, the water temple in Zelda Twilight Princess uh, this is going to be the central room where you would drop down in the middle you'd go down each of these hallways on the sides well up there and you'd go solve the different puzzles and fill this room up with water. I can't do anything as drastic as filling it all the way up with water, but there are some things I can do and I want to try to do, um, which involves raising and lowering water levels. And this is kind of one of those little unspoken clues that's going to be around that water level may or may not be changeable. And speaking of the central room in Zelda, there's a stairway in the middle that can be rotated. Minecraft cannot rotate staircases. So what we'll do is we'll try to do the next best thing, have a stationary staircase that looks like it can be rotated. And so it, there was that, and there's also a chandelier in the middle of the room with a chest on it that you can get on top of eventually. So I've got here a rough idea of how I think this should go. I think it's about halfway, I think about halfway worked out. And if you know my sense of humor, which hopefully you do by now, I literally have it halfway figured out. Actually, the reason why I did this is I wanted to uh, show how I built this. I want to just build everything off camera and say, okay, look, see how, see, you know, I don't want to do stuff like that. So, yeah, and this, this is going to look a little funny down here. Um... I actually want to be able to have water run down this, just like in the game. And when it does run down here, it's going to need a place to go. So I actually have this kind of trough here. This is eventually going to get dug out and probably turn into something that will be triggered if uh, water goes in it. Probably bud switches, whatever. We'll, we'll figure that out. But anyways, I'm going to build this, and I'm going to build that on camera.
Well, that just about does do it. Pretty much. Last, just kidding, there's a lot. There's still a lot that needs to go on in here. Um, I did add some railings for safety, and also I think those are in the design of the original thing. All I pretty much did was go along here, uh, wherever pretty much the same thing went for up high. Like, if there was a spot down here, I'd put it exactly up there with, oh, come on, one, two, three, four blocks in between. So it would, like, start there. However, I did not put them everywhere because some sections, like the one over there, look kind of like they've uh, had some erosions happen. But not in the lower parts. Those, I was able to put those in. And really, I think that's going to have to be good for this episode. But really, besides looking extremely gray, I think this room is shaping up. Also, if you're wondering why the main entrance leads into the stairway from the side, so you have to like walk around to get to it, that's kind of the point. I, I like the fact that you get these different views when you walk around it. And also, when you start, I could have started with it, just like walk through and here's the stairway, but you might not realize uh, what it looks like from the side. And I just like that view. I like that view. Also, I like, I like the fact that, it, you know, you can't really see the chest up there. You can kind of see it. And there's like no real way to get to it. Not right now anyways, but there will be. Anyways, like I said, that wraps it up. Until next time. This has been Red McNed. I'll see you next time. Crap, I said next time twice.